Hi, my name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to break the Excel workbook protection password. Before I go into the detail, I want to uh, point out that so in Excel, there's different uh, type of uh, password protection, and there's the uh, worksheet protection that basically lock the uh, individual worksheets, and then there's a uh, uh, Excel file protection. If you go to uh, Save Us and browse and under the tools and if you go to uh, general options and there's the uh, excel level of uh, password protection basically a user needs the uh, the password to open the excel file and then there's the let's show you, then there's the workbook protection uh, layer so basically that will uh, lock the structure of the uh, excel workbook to uh, disable a user to add or delete or move uh, worksheets. So right now my Excel file is uh, workbook protect. So meaning that uh, if I try to uh, move the file, rename the file, or even hide on hide, I'm not able to. As you can see, I'm trying to drag the file and over, but I'm not able to do so. And putting in that you forget your password and and you can't even use VBA. So if I'm trying to go into the, the uh, VBA window and I'm trying to uh, manually making the worksheet to uh, making a hitting and I'm going to get this uh, VBA error that uh, I'm able to set the visible property of the worksheet class. So to uh, break the workbook level of uh, password protection, and so first thing I want to do is I'm going to close this Excel file and I'm going to open the folder of the folder that has the Excel file saved. And here's the, uh, the file. So and I'm going to actually, let me make this uh, icon a little bit bigger. Uh, view large icon. And I'm going to, um, so before uh, you begin or we begin, I'm going to make a copy just in case that if I corrupt the Excel file, I know that I have a copy to, uh, to return to the original state. And next, you want to change the file extension to uh, zip, so zip file. And that will basically convert the Excel uh, file to a zip file. And open the zip file. So that will actually uh, gives you all the uh, structure Excel file as well as as well as the XML file that make up the Excel structure. And you want to go into, sorry, let me go back. You want to go into the uh, XL folder. So stand for Excel folder. And under there, you want to look for the uh, workbook.xml file. And copy this file and, and paste somewhere else. And grab a notepad. So open this with notepad. I'm using uh, Notepad++. And we open the uh, XML file. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. And you want to look for uh, a tag called uh, lock structure. And if your Excel workbook is structure is uh, password protect, then you're going to, the value is going to be one. So what you want to do is you want to change the value back to zero. That means to remove the password and save. I'm going to close the note, the notebook. And, and, and what you want to do is you want to replace the XML file and with the, the XML file inside the zip file. And okay. And once I'm finished and change the, the the file extension from ZIP to uh, XLSX. In fact, using a macro enable file, you want to rename the extension as XLSM. And I'm going to rename as uh, just regular Excel file. And now when you uh, open the file again, and I'm going to enable the connection. And so when I right click, as you can see, uh, all the structures are now available for you to now for you to uh, to do, and if you want to uh, move the file or rename the file, you are now able to do so. And if we go back to file, 
as you can see, um, the workbook structure uh, password protection has now been removed. And so that's basically it. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if, if any question, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and tell you guys soon. Bye bye.